Hi, I'm going to try to show you two modules today. Both modules are manufactured by Animodule. The first module on the left here is the Logic Ogic module, which uh, contains various handy logic functions in a relatively small package. It has an inverter slash buffer, it has two OR gates, it has two AND gates, it also has two flip-flops. The special thing about this is that it's not being processed by a microprocessor. So that means you uh, won't get any quantization noise at audio rate like you would with, well, basically all of the other logic modules on the market right now. Uh, the second module on the right here is the quad comparator. It's a set of four voltage comparators. When you plug in a voltage to the input socket, it is compared to the value of the knob. So if the value matches the knob value in the logical, well, yeah, if the voltage matches the knob value, a logical one is output. Otherwise, a logical zero is output. So you basically get everything converted into square waves, which is nice. Uh, while these modules are perhaps primarily useful for processing gates, triggers, and, you know, rhythmic sequences, today I'm going to show you um, some of the audio rate uses for these modules. To do this, I have the uh, digital output of the comparator hooked up to an audio output module. And, uh, yeah. So first off, I'm going to plug in an MP3 player to the quad comparator to make it convert the sound into square waves. Uh, this has a sound quality of a really heavy distortion effect. Well, that's enough of that. Second, I'm going to show you um, how this can be used to get a pulse width modulation sound out of a saw wave. What I'm doing here is I'm uh, connecting the uh, saw output of the um, Synchrodyne oscillator, which is a great oscillator because it has a very wide range. So I'm connecting that to the comparator input. And right now it's set to a very, very low frequency, so you can just see and hear it pulsating like this. And you can see in here, as I adjust the knob, that the pulses are getting shorter or wider. Now let's bring this one up to audio rate. So, right now I'm twiddling the knob manually, but you could produce the same sort of effect if you connect the um, saw output to a VCA and connect that to a 
low frequency oscillator. Oh well. Third, I'm going to show you how the flip flop on the Logic Audio can be used to create a sub oscillator sound, one octave below that of the original waveform. What I've done now is I've connected the square wave output of the Synchroline oscillator to the um, flip-flop on uh, the Logic Logic module. And you can see it blinking along nicely at low frequencies. Let's hook this up to the audio so we can hear it. And it goes well into the super -sonic. Now to mix this with the saw wave, which is one way octave above this. So now you hear the saw wave, and I'm adding in the square wave, which is one octave below, and now just the square wave. That's basically it. Thank you for watching.